Yeah, my uh, concern about my reputation is with uh, the people who I respect, my family and my lord. And I'm perfectly comfortable with my reputation with them, sir. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. So John Durham went up to Capitol Hill. We rarely see this man on camera. You see Sasquatch more than you see John Durham. He finally testified before Congress. It was a lot of fireworks. It was a lot of lightning strikes. And John Durham just completely kicked the shit out of Democrats. It was really entertaining. Now, I gotta tell you, I really wish that John Durham had done a better job of putting more of the Russiagate hoaxers in jail, put more heads on pyres and stakes outside of the DOJ, but I also live in reality. As you can see, uh, in public note, there is really no justice in this country, so the best you can ask for is sunlight as a disinfectant. And John Durham was doing that. John Durham began his statement by saying that FBI agents have groveled to him and apologized for their overt political activity. This is new. Yeah, um, i give you some uh, real-life um, views on that. I have had um, any number of FBI agents um, who I've worked with over the years, some have retired, some are still in place, who have come to me and apologized for the manner in which uh, that investigation was undertaken. I take that seriously. These are good, hardworking, the majority of people in the FBI, the decent human beings who swear to, uh, under their oaths to uh, abide by the law and, and the like. And uh, I think that, that um, typifies, exemplifies of the, of the concern here. Uh so the concern here is why did you open up a Russiagate investigation into Donald Trump? Was there anything to the Steele dossier, which was the Hillary Clinton bought and paid for dossier? Uh, John Durham answered. Uh, Steele well. dossier was it was entered into our congressional record. Was it true? There is not a single substantive piece of information in the dossier that has ever been corroborated by the FBI or, to my knowledge, anyone else. Mm -hmm. So uh, that hurt badly. And the person it hurt the most is Adam Schiff who tried to come after John Durham and tried to essentially smear his reputation. You'll see no Democrat on the committee came with any questions or came with any arguments. They just came with personal attacks. Watch this, and I'll, I'll show you why it's hilarious. Check this out. One of a presidential candidate gets calls all the time from a foreign government offering dirt on their opponent. Is that what you're saying? I don't think this is unique in your experience. Uh, so you uh, you have other instances of the Russian government offering dirt. Okay, so what's that? That's John Durham uh, referencing this article and moment you may have forgotten from 2019. GOP lawmakers dig up audio of Adam Schiff telling prank callers he would accept dirt on Trump from Ukraine. These prank callers were from Russia. Adam Schiff is a hypocrite. The audio, ladies and gentlemen, show that Adam Schiff himself was begging for any dirt that any foreign government could give him on Donald Trump. Oh, interesting. <laughs> this, this, this is fantastic because they actually do have these recordings of Joe Biden. And uh, Adam Schiff says, well, obviously, when talking to these prank callers, you're welcome to get a, uh, you're welcome a chance to get copies of these recordings. Schiff said uh, to the guys, he wants the dirt. John Durham just wrecked him for that. John Durham also wrecked one of just the dirtiest, grossest individuals in all of Congress, one of the baldest, weirdest, most cretin-like individuals. His name is Congressman Cohen, Steve Cohen. He's from Tennessee, and he went directly after John Durham, threatening him, saying that your reputation uh, will go down in flames, and we will burn you on a pyre in your reputation, right? Like going and threatening John Durham uh, after this very lengthy, bipartisan career investigator uh, for the DOJ, and uh, John Durham had a just beautiful reaction. Listen to this. Reputation will be damaged. As everybody's reputation who gets involved with Donald Trump is damaged, he's damaged goods, there's no good dealing with him, because you will end up on the bottom of a pyre. I yield back the balance of my time. Sure. My, we uh, presume the gentleman's undecided on, on how he feels about the pre former president? <laughs> Gentlemen, the witness can respond. Yeah, my uh, concern about my reputation is with uh, the people who I respect, and my family, and my lord. 
and I'm perfectly comfortable with my reputation with them, sir. Dude, good for you. Good for you. Strong man. Mr. Smith goes to Washington vibes. Cohen accused Durham of hurting his reputation by trying to help damaged goods Trump. And he responded saying, uh, the only people I care about are the people I respect. Saying, I don't respect you, sir. He also certainly didn't respect Jerry Nadler, who had all of his facts wrong. Watch this. Your investigation cost more than six and a half million dollars. Involved the work of dozens of FBI employees and federal prosecutors, some of whom resigned in protest and took roughly four years to complete. Is that correct? No. It's not correct. No, I mean, there were multiple did, parts of that. Did it take four years to complete? Correct. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's really good. Listen, I just need to hear John Durham talk for once. He actually is doing a great job defending himself here. The attacks, again, have nothing to do with any of his work. They are simply personal attacks and threats. John Durham actually insulted Adam Schiff to his face once more in the hearing, saying that the Steele dossier was effectively true in Adam Schiff's own mind. Oh, man, this is good. Exactly what happened. Well, the Russians information- released stolen emails mm-hmm. through cutouts, did they not? There were emails. It's a very simple question. Did they release information, release. stolen information through cutouts, yes or no? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. That you really what, don't what, know the answer to that? The answer is yes, they did. Who DC leagues? Well, your mind to, is yes. Well, <laughs> Mueller's answer was yes. More important than mine, Mueller's. <laughs> In your mind, it was yes. Yes, it is a uh, cold comfort for me that we can just play some BTFO John Durham clips here and laugh along with you and I, what would actually make me laugh, what would actually make me joyous in my soul would be to have had massive gallows and a sign outside of the politicized FBI and DOJ saying, abandon all hope, ye who try and uh, project hoaxes upon the American people. Uh, If you enter here, don't, don't do it, right? To see somebody suffer some humiliating and vicious personal uh, and professional consequences for what they did because they robbed Donald Trump of his first term. That's what they ended up doing here. They, they robbed the man and they robbed you and I of our vote. They robbed us of a clean first term of Donald Trump and then have him judged on the merits of his presidency. It's too bad, ladies and gentlemen. And that is truly the real crime here, ultimately. Not who lied on this little document or who pushed this little thing, the FBI, uh, or you know who opened an investigation when they shouldn't have. The real crime here is that the 70 million Americans who voted for Donald Trump and legally got him elected president in 2016 had their votes desecrated by this hoax. And we'll never get that opportunity again. You know, the past is prologue. It's just not going to happen again. And so where do we stand now? Well, the best you can hope for, that doesn't happen in the future and that we're wiser. Are we? Time will tell. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.